Thank you for his life, God. Yes, He's Lord. given up Thank you. and said, you know what? I'm fast enough. I'm done. The Lord is here. The very fact he's here in his sorrow and his sorrow. We can't be, when he comes back to us, he'll break more bread. Lord, remember the children, our children, Lord, my eldest son and son, where, oh God, I'm putting before you. Lord, Jesse, my youngest son, the girls, the grandchildren, we put all our children before you this Hallelujah, this afternoon. We pray, oh God, even for Sister Sonia's mother, who will be traveling soon, that you would grant her journey mercies. And Lord, for your people, whatever we fail of asking you, fail not to grant unto us according to your divine will, according to your divine purpose. For thine is the kingdom, wow. the power belongs to you, the glory is yours. Lord Jesus, we Amen. sometimes feel like Job, oh God. Sometimes God is one news after the other. Mm. But God, this, your word declares that he, when he heard these things, he fell down and he Worship. God, it's not easy to worship when your heart is hurting, but God, mm. we worship you this afternoon. We bless your name above how we feel, mm. above, oh God, the, the pestilence and the noise. Lord, we worship you. We magnify your name. We lift our hearts and our voices. And we magnify yes, you. Yes, and we ask that you take your rightful yes. place amongst us and in us. Yes. And that at the end of our service, Lord, oh, Lord, we know not only say it was good for us to be here, yes. but Lord, you will you will delight in the sacrifice. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, that we offer. Mm. Bless those of our brethren who are on their way coming, hasten their footsteps to your house. Yes. Hallelujah. We pray against every obstacle, every plan, every assignment. And we ask that they would come, Lord, in with one heart to lift up your holy name. Even the vessel that will be breaking bread for us this afternoon, wherever she is, I pray that your eternal spirit would anoint and appoint. And that God will listen keenly and will take those bricks and bills. Oh, somebody said, fast falls the even time, the darkness deepens. But Lord, please with us survive when our errors fail and all comfort free help. Oh, from the helpless, oh, abide with us, Lord. We need your presence. We need you, Lord. We need you when the benediction is pronounced. We need you when we go to all. We need you when we lay to sleep. We need you at our rising in our schools, in our homes, on the job, Lord. We 
And we ask you to cover us and keep us, Lord. For thine is a kingdom, the power belongs to you. Glory. Forever and ever we say, Amen. 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 And amen. Praise God. Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. Praise him again. I'm going to be asking, I know Sister Joy's not feeling too good, but I'm going to ask her to come and pray at this time. Bless the Lord, Sister Joy, me, because I'd like you to come and pray. Praise God. Sister Joy, Sister Joy stands by you. Just to lift up another prayer before we continue our service. Thank you, Mr. Just come. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Just to lift your faith with us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Lord, we lift up your name this day, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name, oh God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom has come. Glory to God. Jesus Christ has come. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, Father God, we come, Father God, in the name of Jesus this morning, oh God. Give me your thanks. Give it the glory, Lord. Give it your own praise that belong it unto thee, O God. Lord, we acknowledge you, O God, that thou art God, and beside you, Lord, there is no other. Lord, you are the true and the living God in, in whom we serve, O God. Thank you, Lord, for this privilege, O God, and this opportunity to call upon your name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous run to it in it and they are saved. And this morning, oh God, we thank you for the privilege that we can come to you. Thank you. For no one come to you, Lord, you know why it's cast them away. Mm -hmm. The word said, oh God, they that come to you must first believe that God you is. And that you are one of them that diligently seek you. Yeah. We will seek you, Lord, by the word near. And we call upon you, Lord, where you can be found. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, this day, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you can come to your Lord. Oh, God, it's a day, your Father God, to rejoice. But, oh, God, we are mourning, oh, God, with those that mourn. Oh, God, we are weeping with those that weep, oh, God. No one is rejoicing this morning, oh, Heavenly Father, oh, God, but you are weeping with those that weep, oh, God. Remember your son, your father, God, who is weeping, your father, God. Jesus, we pray oh, that you are strengthened. We don't know what to say, Heavenly Father, God. But we come with the matter to your hands, dear Lord. Jesus, Jesus. Lord, I pray that you strengthen his faith. Lord, I pray that his faith, oh God, will stand in your Jesus. Lord, I pray that you minister to him, Father God. Oh God, it's nothing you can say to him this morning, oh God, that will bring comfort to his soul. But I pray that you comfort him, Jesus, because you are the comforter. Glory to God, hallelujah. Lord, we pray that you touch him. We pray that you breathe on him, Father God. I pray that you minister to your son, oh God. Lord, remind him, oh God, that you still love him. Oh God, you words said many afflictions, righteous, but you deliver us out of them all, oh God. Father God, oh God, just come into me to your hands. Lord, when the question is asking your Father God, but all you know, God, all you can give him the answer, Lord, oh God. Lord, I pray that you touch him. Lord, I pray that you cover him under the blood. Jesus, Jesus, Lord of mercy. Yes, many things you would want to say, oh God, but you got to remember your Father God that he's still trusting in you. Jesus, be the one of fire around him. Lord, be the fence around your son. Oh, God, strengthen his spirit, your Father God. Help him not to give up on the blessing of Jesus. Continue to fight his battle, your Father God. Fight against them that are fighting against him, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, put on the old hammer upon your son right now, Father God. Because the battle is still hot, your Father God. The 
But he prayed that you come and let it blow us. Right now, put on your own armor from where the country right now, Father. I bear his lines with truth right now, Father. Put on the breastplate of righteousness upon your son, oh God. And you see that faith that bends the fire and blood for you, we keep hallelujah. Father God, put on right now the ethic of salvation. For you will keep in perfect peace, whose mind is set upon your God. Put on the gospel shoes of peace upon his senior Father God. Oh God, we pray to your peace to live with him. Your peace to give unto us, oh God, and not the peace of the world. Father God, right now the soul and the spirit, it is your word. We all God is in your word, and now we turn back unto your mind, what it shall accomplish. In the name of Jesus, let your word accomplish in his heart, oh yes, God. God. Let it accomplish in his heart, yes, Father God. God. Yes, we don't know why this Lord. Yes. We don't know, Father God. Oh God, if you were speaking to him before, I don't know, Father God, if his house is in order, Father God. But Jesus, the word said, who knows the spirit of a man, but the spirit that is in that man. Hallelujah. And you are the Lord of God, you do not destroy a city and let the world us so bad. So that must not let me take in glory to God. Oh, glory is that we can hear what the spirit is saying to us, dear Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, fight our battles on every side, my God. Fight our battles, Jesus. You are our battle axe, dear Father. Oh, blessed Jesus, strengthen, Father God. Help him to look to you by faith in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, help him, Lord, to continue to call upon your name. Oh, God, I pray you cover him. I pray that you minister to him. I pray you will strengthen him. And I pray that you continue to take up the cross and follow your Lord. In the name of Jesus, help him that he will not give up your Father God. Deliver him, Jesus. God, he could have been worse, oh God. He could have been worse, Jesus. He could have been here, oh God, trying to defend, oh God, his hallelujah. And he is the one, oh God, his sword could have reached your Father God. Oh God, his family could have been wiped on your Father. Oh God, you are still good to him, dear Lord. Oh God, strengthen my brain. Lord, bless your children this morning, oh God. Lord, oh God, many of us are going through the fire. Oh God, let me write us and the utter the back of the seat of the victory. Lord, oh God, our sister Shirley, oh God, they want our son that is not well. Father God, we ask in the Lord that you will touch him. Lord, I pray, mighty God, that you give them a right about turn. Jesus, touch each and every one. We are also going to the fire. Oh God, some to the fire, some to the water, but all to the blood. Glory to God. Fight our battle, Jesus. Lord, oh God, the battle is yours. Oh God, it's not ours, Lord. Deliver your children. Make a way, Lord, when there seems to be no way. Many afflicted are the righteous. Continue to deliver us, oh God. Father God, come our the children. Remember them, Father God. Help us that we continue to pray for our children. Glory to God. Help us, Lord, that we not give up on them. Glory to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, whether they're wrong, whether they're right, whether they're good, whether they're bad, we will continue to pray for them. But prayer changes all things. Prayer is the key. Glory to God. And if we give up on our children, who is he going to pray for them? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help us not to give up. In the name of Jesus, my God, we're living for them. Praise be to God. How we come in and your hands. Help us to love them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus, in your Christ, our children shall find refuge. Because you are a refuge and our strength and a very present help in the time of trouble. Lord, comfort our children. My God, when they go out, 
Oh God, we send the angels behind them. In the name of Jesus, Lord, don't give up on them. Don't turn your back upon them. Glory to God, because of God, you are God of love. You are God of compassion. In the name of Jesus, Lord, remember them. Sometimes they are in the wrong place. Oh God, I remember your father. My children, oh God, you've been good to them. My sick God, if I was not praying, oh God, they too would be wiped out. My sick God, I remember my son. Oh God, when someone put a gun to his head, my sick God, mighty God, but they could only point it, but they could not fire it. Glory to God because he was covered. Praise God, he was covered under the blood. Glory be to God. So Jesus, help us, oh God, that we not give up. We will not give up, but the moment we give up, oh God, disaster strike. Jesus, Jesus, deliver our children, our grandchildren. Cover them under the blood, Jesus. Be the word of fire around them. Be the fence around them. In the name of Jesus, Lord, come to our home. Apply the blood in our home. Apply it upon the door. Apply it upon the window. Lord, send your angels to encamp around us, Lord, around our home. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we keep our home in the blood. Hallelujah, send your fire. Oh, God, destroy them, Lord. Glory to God. I remember your father. Your word declare. Jesus, you tell. I believe it was Ezekiel that he should walk oh God. He should dig through the wall. And when he dig the wall, oh God, he see the old time. Oh God, he did the old men of old. My God in the wall, worshiping idols. Oh God, worshiping idols. Jesus, we're trying things on the wall. Mighty God, search us, Lord. Search our home. Lord, send fire in the wall. Send fire. Send fire, Jesus. And destroy those demonic activities. In the name of Jesus, send fire in the ceiling. Send fire in the floor. Send fire in the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Send fire in our bed. Hallelujah. Destroy every demonic forces. Walking up and down. In the name of Jesus. Lord, send your fire. Scatter them. Scatter them. Destroy them. Destroy them. For your God of fire. Your God of brimstone. Your God of your own God earthquake. Destroy them, Lord. Fight to our battles. Fight against them. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, fighting against us. But I'm gonna get covered with a Patrick. Lord, be the fence around him. Lord God, your word is clear. Praise God. Jesus, that you will never leave him. And you will never forsake him, dear Father God. Lord, don't leave him. Don't forsake him. Never turn him. He the Lord is now. Glory to God. Lord, bind them together, Lord. Amen. Come on, this whole oh God, sister Shaman, and your children. Cover them, Father God. Jesus, let the angels return. Let the angels return back to his home. Let the blood be on his window again. Let the blood be on his door. In oh all God, do not withdraw your troop. In the name of Jesus, let them return back, Lord. Let them return back. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to cover them. Each and every one, dear Father. Heal our children. Deliver them. Lord, bread, don't give up on your children. Continue to pray. Pray till something happen. Pray without ceasing. The Lord want to hear us. Glory to God. The Lord want to hear us. He said, come. Let us reason together. 
Hallelujah. If your children is out of hand, glory to God. Come, let us reason. Let us tell the Lord everything about our children, about our sorrows, all what we are going through. Glory to God. Take it to the Lord in prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, cover us, Lord. We just commit everything into your hands. And what you say, I ask you, Lord. Fain are from granted unto us. God, we give you the honor, we give you the glory, and we give you the praise that belong to thee, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Praise his name. Lift your hands and praise him. Praise God. There's a song that says, it says, I am under the rock. The rock is higher than I, Jehovah, hide me. I am under the rock. Oh, tell my enemies, I'm under the rock. Jehovah, hide me. I'm under the rock. We're going to sing that a few times before we ask our sister Catherine to be reading the last picture for us. I am under the rock. Oh, the rock is higher than I.
Um, Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 1 to 5, and then 32 and verse 37. God bless you. Stand and read Jeremiah chapter 32, verses 1 to 5. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the tenth year of Zedekiah, king of Judah, which was the eighteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar. For then the king of Babylon's army besieged Jerusalem, and Jeremiah the prophet was shut up in the court of the prison, which was in the king of Judah's house. For Zedekiah, king of Judah, had shut him up, saying, Wherefore dost thou prophesy and say, mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord, mm -hmm. Behold, I will give this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall take it. And Zedekiah, king of Judah, shall not escape out of the hands of the Chaldeans, but shall surely be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon, and shall speak with him mouth to mouth, and his eyes shall behold his eyes. And he shall lead Zedekiah to Babylon, and there shall he be until I visit him, said the Lord. Though ye fight with the Chaldeans, ye shall not prosper. Mm -hmm. Verse 37. Verse 37. Behold, I will gather them out of all countries, whither I have driven them in my anger and in my fury and in great wrath. And I will bring them again unto this place, and I will cause them to dwell safely. Praise, Praise God. We honor the word of God by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As I was at the beginning, now and shall be, we will be glad to Amen. Praise God. God bless you, Sister Catherine. God bless you, Sister Catherine. God bless you again, Sister Joy, for that prayer. God bless you. There's a song that it says, On Christ the solid rock I stand. All on the ground is singing sound. We want to get the minister on pretty prompt. So we want to just stand together and sing that song. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest friend, but only thee, Jesus. My hope is built on nothing less. Oh, 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, J
Jesus, in whom all our sins and grief to bear, what a privilege to carry everything, everything. to the Lord. Sister Nabla, a charge. Sister Delora, there, looking at Nabla. Sister Dad, a charge. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Praise the Lord. Mother Dolly, a charge. Surely goodness and mercy shall, shall follow, follow me, me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. It's the secret of child. Standing somewhere in the shadow. Hallelujah. Find Jesus. Yes, sir. He is the only one who can understand. Standing. Hallelujah. Did you can find see? We want to hear a, a soft charge from you. A large charge. It's just so, such a privilege to have you in our midst. I was young, but now I'm old. Yes, I've never seen the righteous for sake. Yes, the Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you. 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 Thank you. 
I'll just read a few uh, verses, I'll just read through Jeremiah, we'll see how this happened, how, how it happened upon Jeremiah that he had to be the prophet to preach to the people of Israel. The words of Jeremiah, the son of Helkiah, of the priests that were in Anathoth, in the land of Benjamin. I think Benjamin, um, obviously, correct me if I'm wrong, was a place where it was set aside for the Levites, for the priests. Praise God. To whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, the son of Anon, king of Judah, in the 13th year of his reign. He came also in the days of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the day of the 11th year of Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the carrying away of Jerusalem captive in the fifth month. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, Jeremiah speaking, before I formed thee, mm. and belly, this is God, mm. I knew thee. <laughs> Before thou comest forth out of the womb, yes. I sanctified thee. Yes. I ordained thee a prophet mm -hmm. unto the nations. Nation. Then said I, Jeremiah, Ah, oh, Lord, God, mm -hmm. behold, I cannot speak. Yes. I am a child. Yes. But the Lord said unto, unto, unto me, Say not, I am a child. Yes. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, mm. for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root up. Mm. To pull down, to destroy, yeah, to throw good. down, mm. to build, yeah. and to plant. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod, an almond tree. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. The word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, What seest thou? Mm. I said, I see a seething pot, mm. and the face thereof is toward the north. Then the Lord said unto me, Out of the north, an evil shall break forth upon all the habitat, habit, inhabitants of the land. For lo, I call all the families of the kingdoms of the north, saith the Lord. <coughs> and they shall come, and they shall set everyone in his throne. It's everyone is thrown at the entering of the gates of Jerusalem and against all the walls thereof around about and against all the cities of Judah and I will utter my judgments against them touching all their wickedness who have forsaken me and have burned incense unto other gods and worship the works of their own hands. Mm. Thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city, an iron pillar, a brazen walls, against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, against the people of the land. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee, for mm. I am with thee. Says the Lord to deliver thee. Amen. Praise God. Yes, God. Praise the Lord. We find that when God starts to call Jeremiah and speak to him, Jeremiah, you can see from the way Jeremiah was uh, reacting or speaking back to God, he became quite concerned and you could feel the fear in the, the, the communication between him and God. Because he knew that God, if you look in the verses at, that I've just now read, that God was not pleased with the behavior of Judah. Mm. Praise God. And you would ask the question, why was God not pleased? And if we look in chapter 2, it says, more of the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, 
I remember thee. This is the reason for God's anger. I remember thee. I remember thee, the kindness of thy youth, the love of thine espousals, when thou wentest after me in the wilderness in a land that was not so. Israel was holiness unto the Lord, and the first fruits of his increase. All that devour him shall offend evil, shall come upon them. Praise God. Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the famines of the house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, what iniquity have your fathers found in me? This is God talking. Thus said the Lord, through Jeremiah, what iniquity have your fathers found in me? That they have gone far from me, and have walked after vanity, and have come and are become vain. Neither said they, where is the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt? Didn't have no conscience of God. That led us through the wilderness mm -hmm. with all the miracles, all the part of the Red Sea, all the, 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 the um, massive, enormous miracles that God had done. There was, there was no fear of God to acknowledge him and correct the error of their ways. Praise God. It says, neither said they, where is the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt that led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and of pits, through a land of drought and of the shadow of death, through a land that no man passed through and where no man dwelt. Mm. I brought you into a plentiful country to eat the fruit thereof mm. and the goodness thereof. But when you entered, you defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. The, the priest said not where the Lord, where is the Lord? Neither did the priest say where is the Lord? And they that handled the Lord knew me not. The pastors also transgressed against me. Mm. And the prophets prophesied by Baal mm. and walked after things that do not profit. Wherefore, will I, wherefore I will yet plead with you, said the Lord, and with your children's children will I plead. For pass over the isles of Shittim and see, and send unto Kedar, and consider diligently, and see if there be such a thing. Hath the nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be very desolate, said the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out, out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Is Israel a servant? Is he a, a house-born slave? Why is he spoiled? The young lions grew upon him and yelled, and they made his land waste. His cities are burned without inhabitant. All the children of Noph and Tahapanes have broken the crown of thy head. Hast thou not procured this unto thyself, in that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God, you brought it unto yourself, because you have forsaken the Lord, when he had led thee by the way. And now, what hast thou to do in the way of Egypt, to drink the water of Shihor? Or what hast thou to do in the way of Assyria, to drink the waters of the river? Thy own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore, and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God, and that my fear is not in thee, saith the Lord God of hosts. For, for of old time I have broken thy yoke, and burst thy bands, and thou saidest, I will not transgress. He promised not to transgress, but when upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest playing the harlot. Mm. Yet I planted thee a hop thy yet I planted thee a noble vine, mm -hmm. holy, a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? But though thou wash thee with nitro and make thee much so, yet thine iniquity is marked before me, saith the Lord God. How canst thou say, I am not polluted, I have not gone after Balaam? <laughs> See thy way in the valley, know what thou hast done. Thou art a swift dromedary transferring. 
her, her ways. I looked up the word dromedary, it means a, a one hump camel. Praise God. And she just keeps on going to and from, and like she doesn't know where she's going and she doesn't know what she's doing. And a wild ass, a, a wild ass used to the used to the wilderness that sniffeth up the wind mm. at her pleasure in her occasion. Who can turn her away? That's the horse in mating season. All they that seek her will not weary themselves in her in her month. They shall find her. Withhold thy foot from being unshod, and thy throat from thirst. But thou saidest, there is no hope. No, for I have loved strangers, and after them will I go. So they still sit in their way that they're going to do what they're going to do, regardless of the power and the miracle that God has been demonstrating. This is Jeremiah prophesying to Judah regarding the, the wrath of God and the anger of God. In the life that they are now portraying mm. and still declaring God, still declaring that they are the people of God and they are the chosen people of God. Praise God. Praise God. And as a thief is ashamed when he is found, so is the house of Israel ashamed. They, their kings and princes and their priests and their prophets say to a stop, Thou art my father, and to a stone thou art brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me, not their face, but in the time of their trouble they will say, Arise and save us. So when they know that it's going to get really bad, or they realize that their, their resources are being, are being diminished, then they will call on God. You know, when sometimes we mm. trouble rise, mm, that's the time. That's the time to call on God, but mm. in, the, in the time of joy and happiness mm. and, and, and fullness mm. that's when we ought to give God thanks yes. and, and, and reinforce ourselves and put on our armor so when trouble comes God is on our side to defend us but God won't defend us in our transgression and we only remember him when the trouble that we have mm. we can't deal with you have to remember it at all times because although God is a loving God, He's also a dreadful God. Praise God. But where are thy gods that thou hast made? This is what God is asking. Let them arise if they can and save thee in the time of thy trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah. Wherefore will we plead with thee? Ye will have transgressed against me said the Lord. So he said, why should we plead with you? They're asking him, God, why should we plead with you? And he said, you've transgressed against me. Mm. In vain have I spitten your children. They received no correction. Yeah. Praise God. Your own sword has devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. Old generation, see the word of the Lord. Have I been a wilderness unto Israel? A land of darkness, wherefore saith my people, we are Lord. We will come no more unto thee. So we don't need God anymore because we can do it ourselves. Can a maid forget her ornaments or a bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Wherefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways? Also in thy skirt is found the blood of the souls of the poor innocents. I have not found it by secret search, but upon all these. Mm. Yet thou says, because I am innocent, surely his anger shall turn from me. Behold, I will plead with thee, because thou says I have not sinned. Why didst thou about so much to change thy way? Thou also shalt be ashamed of Egypt, mm. as thou wast ashamed of Assyria. Yea, thou shalt go forth from him, and thy lands upon thine head, for the Lord hath rejected thy confidences, and thou shalt not prosper in them. Praise God. This has been a long read, and just little bits of explanation, but in reading the condition of Israel, the lesson has come up in 2022, 1st of May, here and now, the time that we're in is, is shutting down. Mm. 
and God, Christ, your souls are still being saved. There's people still being delivered. But God is also calling for his people to correct the error of calling us to correct the error of our ways. Because it is not just a lovely song or a quote or an exhortation or a preaching. It is our life that stands before God. And he reads us like a book. And he sees the way that we are because some will go along with the ceremonies and the, the, the washings and the quotings and the preachings, but yeah. the heart is no far. Yes. Can we, as we sit in the presence of God and as we go to our separate homes, hear what the Spirit is saying to us? Oh. Or is this just a time to pass? Mm-hmm. Because Jeremiah warned, prophesied for the longest of time. Mm-hmm. It, this is chapter two that I'm reading, but uh, the, the, the chapter that we are looking at is Jeremiah 32. Yeah. Praise God. And Jeremiah consistently, he was there as a, as a tannoy, he was there as a beacon, warning the people to correct the error of their ways. Praise God, praise his name. And the reason for warning them is because he will. God will. It's not his will that any should perish, but he will. He said, I will pass judgment, and you're going to remove my hand to pass judgment. Mm. So he called Jeremiah from the womb, and he called Jeremiah to prophesy to Judah to correct the errors of their ways. And the topic is salvation and divine favor promise. Yeah. It's a very strange scripture to use for the promise and divine yeah. salvation yeah. and divine favor, favor promise. Yeah. When you look at that, it doesn't sound like that with what we're reading mm-hmm. or what we're studying. But when we study the behavior of Israel, we study that they, they are the time clock yeah. for the earth. Mm-hmm. Their behavior is supposed to be an example so that we would look yeah. and follow yeah. a city yeah. set on a hill, yeah. a light to lighten the Gentiles. Yeah. Praise God, but their whole behavior did not portray what God had ministered to them. He put them in a good place. Yeah. Praise God. Everything that they needed was there. There was in need of nothing. And if you go back, it was just the, the um, Eden, the Garden of Eden. There was nothing needed or nothing required. But I remember having a conversation with my dad one of the days, and I said that the most weightiest thing, this is the conversation that me and my sister normally have when we are delving, is having choice. Is having choice. The, the weightiest thing to have is choice. Because although you, you, you might say with your mouth that you're, you're going to do good, the Bible says that if you um, show me how, there's a saying, show me your heart and I'll tell you where your desire is, praise God, and where your choice is, praise God. So the, the, the choice that we make, we have to be careful that we're making choices flippantly. Yes. Just haphazardly, all that God says, I will do, mm. all that is, He promises, I, I receive. Yeah. But you've got the one hand behind your back yeah. <coughs> holding on to something that can't be too bad. Yeah. You know, it's, it, that's not going to stop me from getting in. Mm. I'll be okay. Yeah. Praise God. The idols that the Israel had, each of them had little bits and pieces, spots and blemishes. Yeah. But God said there is neither spot nor blemish nor any such thing. As we look at ourselves today, I'm not we I don't want to weary you with the word of God because all of what is being read, we we know already. Mm-hmm. But we have to look at it and look in the mirror and look at ourselves and ask ourselves the question: what would stop me from making it in to heaven? Wow. What would stop me from when Christ comes? Mm. Will I be able to hear 
the trumpet of God. And if I can say yes, I might, that means I'm hearing what the Spirit says to the church, not only here, but even in our several boards, because that's yeah. the main place. When we leave from here and we're in our different homes, and the spirit of prophecy that Jeremiah physically was bringing to the people in Israel, there is now a spirit of prophecy where the spirit speaks to the conscience mm -hmm. of the conditions that we're in, yeah. that we need to remove ourselves from less judgment call mm -hmm. or less we miss our place in Christ. Praise God. So as we sit and we observe and hear with the ears, in our spirit, we ask ourselves the question, where am I at? And where am I going? And what am I doing here? What is this about? What is Jeremiah saying that is brought to, to us now? Praise God. The, it's called salvation and divine favor promise. We know that God has promised us eternal life. He's promised us a place. He's promised us a new body. He's promised us from change from mortal to immortality. There's promises made. It's not just suffering for suffering's sake. There is a, cr a crown for a cross. Praise God. Praise God. So if we know that we have a desire individually to follow Christ, we are going to go according to the pattern, according to the command of God. And if we're not going to go to the command of God, judgment will befall us. Praise God, because God washed us and he made us clean. He made us whole. He delivered us, he sound up our mind, he made our mind sound. Amen. What more can God do? What more can he say to us to help us to keep making those steps forward? The mercy of God, the mercy of God is that we're here to hear again the dropping of his word. The mercy of God is that we're safeguarded from fierce harm. Praise God. Unless we desire, he desires to move the edge. Let's look at the, the positive side of this. The suffering the trouble, the yeah. tribulation, the trials that we're going through. Mm -hmm. Salvation and divine favor promised even in the midst of Jeremiah's prophesying of the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. In the midst of all of the children were mm. a remnant. Yeah. Hallelujah. Was a yeah, in was the midst of it was a remnant. Yes. And who yes. are the remnants? Yeah. It, there's no particular people picked out because God has got favorites. Amen. It's if you live by the command and the instruction and the law that He set, and your heart and your affections is towards Him, He will not suffer the run of the wicked yeah, to fall on the run of the righteous. Yeah. Praise God. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. So as God was passing judgment and causing Jeremiah to minister his wrath and his anger towards the disobedience of those that should be following the rightness of God. Yeah. It wasn't his will that any should perish. Yeah. Hence the length of time it took yeah. for Jeremiah, for judgment to be passed, yeah. for the Chaldeans to siege um, Jerusalem. Praise God, because God literally upturned what he had set up for Israel. He upturned it, praise God. And if you look in Jeremiah, Jeremiah 32, God have mercy on us. We see that the mercy of God sits and the salvaging and the divine promise is still established in the midst of the turmoil. Praise God, the word of the Lord word that came to Jeremiah again in chapter 32 and verse 1 of Jeremiah said the word of the Lord and the word the word and the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the 20th year of Zedekiah king of Judah so in the 20th year king um, Zedekiah ruled and, and uh, over Israel over Judah which was the 80th year of Nebuchadnezzar mm. And then the king of Babylon's army besieged Jerusalem. So in chapter 
one and two, you see God um, speaking with Jerusalem, uh, Jeremiah, telling him what his intentions are for the disobedience and the wrath that is coming. And he prophesied of what he will allow. He moved the edge and allowed. So, but then the king of Babylon's army besieged Jerusalem. And Jeremiah the prophet was shut up in the court of the prison, which was in the king of Judah's house. Why was Jeremiah, who ministered so long and so hard, he got locked up? The same people that he was ministering to. The king who inquired of him of what time it is, or what situation it is, or what is God saying, what does God say, is now becoming weary and fed up of him. So he decided to shut him up. Yeah. So Lock him he up. locks him, yeah. up. Lock him up. Because he doesn't want to hear any more of the, the prophecies. Because the prophecies are not suited to how he's feeling. Mm. Praise God. It's not suited to what he yeah. wants. He Praise God. So said, said the prior king of Judah had shut him up, saying, Wherefore dost thou prophesy, saying, Thus said the Lord, Behold, I will give this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall take it. And Zedekiah, king of Judah, shall not escape out of the hand of the Chaldeans, mm-hmm. but shall surely be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon, mm-hmm. and shall speak with him mouth to mouth, and his eyes shall behold his eyes. And he shall lead Zedekiah to Babylon, and there shall he be until I visit him, mm-hmm. saith the Lord. Yeah. Though you fight with the Chaldeans, you shall not prosper. Mm-hmm. So Zedekiah was prepared to and many of them were prepared to fight against the siege that was taking place. Mm-hmm. How many times have we fought our own battles or took the battle in our own hands because we feel that, you know, maybe God doesn't mean that he means this. And, and the spirit of God is speaking to you regarding how you conduct yourself because it could be that if you take matters into your own hands, you will feel the the judgment of God. Mm. Praise God. If you take matters into your own hands and you're not listening to the instruction that's given, Mm. the word of God is given for correction, for reproof, for instruction, that the man of God, the woman of God, be thoroughly furnished. Praise God. But we find that there was a, a rebellion of what the prophecies were because as far as they were concerned, it can't be for so long, you're, 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 you're still prophesying this, 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 this uh, doom on us. The wrath of God is on us for so long. Praise God. And uh, Jeremiah continued to prophesy in chapter 32. And Jeremiah said, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, behold, a meal. Then in the midst of it, God still had a consolation for Jeremiah Mm -hmm. because Jeremiah remained faithful. And in Mm -hmm. the midst of the prophecy of the wrath and the anger of God towards those that were disobedient, Mm -hmm. he still held his covenant. Mm -hmm. He still held his word. Praise God. The scripture says that Christ will come. He will come. And he won't tarry, he will come and he will lift those mm. that are standing in the right place yes. when he will come. Yes. Praise God. But we have to make sure that our house is in order. Amen. He told Jeremiah, if you ever decide to water down what I'm instructing you to say and do, and you start to become cowardly, you yes. start to wash it down. Because it, it could have been easy for Jeremiah to just, you know, Compromise because it was to him one and so many yeah. were opposing yeah. and saying, Surely, Jeremiah, this one, you know, when we look at our lives in 2022, Christ, we haven't seen him physically, the rapture hasn't come yet. But this is the trial, the test, and the temptation of our faith to see how much and how strong our love is for him. And if it is from the first, because God's love has never changed. Praise God. His care towards us has never changed. It's not his will that any of us should perish because if we was to list the amount of times when we were derailed or mm. we went our own way, mm. praise God. God still sit on his throne, show mercy. Praise God. Amen. So in the midst of the 
the message of bad news uh, pertaining to Jeremiah. God is a God of consolation. Mm. Because when you dip into the, the, the pocket of your spirit and you look at God for who he is in the midst of storm, mm. turmoil, yeah. your fear is not unto terror. Mm. No. But you find that there is a deep set of peace yeah. that you would be able to utter as uh, one who was in turmoil said, if I perish, mm. yes, uh, mm. Queen Esther, Hey. I perish, oh, but I must see the king. Praise the Lord. And many of us are going through different turmoils in our life, and some of it is nigh unto death. And if it's not us, it's our children. Praise God. If it's not our children, it's our workplace. And it causes turbulence. You feel the pangs, you feel the pain, you feel the tears, you're overwhelmed. But when you tap in and you kneel and you call on Jehovah, you find that there is still that avenue. Yeah. Praise God. Though the clouds are heavy over us, there is a bright golden ray. When we reach that blessed homeland, yeah. so where there's ever, yeah. everlasting day, praise God, God shall wipe He has preservation. Yes. He has a remnant. Yes. He has a place. Yes. He has comfort. Praise yes. God. He has security. Yes. As long as we stay in the place that he puts us, mm. he won't break his word and his Dang. word. He never yes. has. Amen. Praise God. He never will. Praise God. Yes. So in the midst of Je Jeremiah in the prison, yes. locked in the walls, yes. can't come out. Yes. He was yet, there was this uh, uh, amount of freedom because the devil can't do more than what God allowed him, you know. The adversary cannot do more than what no, no. God allows him. Amen. Praise God. Because sometimes, mm. sometimes, Brother Pat, mm. God would ask the devil, yeah. our adversary, have you considered my servant Joel. Patrick? Have you yeah. considered my servant Joel? Yeah. Praise God. And, and the reply is, We've yeah. got an edge around him. Yeah. Yeah. Adversary knows those that belong to God. Yes. Yes. And he knows when you're holding his card. Yeah. Praise God. And we find that when when the adversary spoke, communed with God, yeah. and God said, Have you considered yeah. my servant Job? It was the test, the trial, and the temptation of Job. Yes. Praise God. And he could have, he could have cursed God and died. He could have turned his back, just as Jeremiah, when he all them years of <laughs> prophesying, yeah, yeah. and God kept on saying to him, warn them, it's mm. not his will that any should perish, hence the years that it took before the siege had taken place. Mm. And in the midst of the 29 years yeah. of prophecy, God allowed something to happen. He yeah. shows himself strong. He shows his comfort oh. to us who love him, to us who are obedient to his will. Amen. And Jeremiah Amen. said, the word of the Lord came unto me. So God spoke to Jeremiah mm -hmm. in the prison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he said, behold, oh. <laughs> Hanamiel, the son of Shula, thine uncle, or his Amen. nephew, Amen. shall come unto thee, saying, buy thee my field that is in Anathoth. Mm. For the right of redemption is thine to buy it. Praise God. So you know they had these, they bought plots of land yeah. for different uh, positions and different works that they did pertaining to God. Mm. Um, and this was part and parcel of the, the priest's uh, um, area. Uh, but the family always looked after each other. So what it was is that they'd have to buy houses and buy land to be able to place their family. It's, it's inheritance. Oh, it's inheritance. Praise God. Just as you read the story of Boaz, it's the amen, same amen, sort of um, negotiation yes. that transaction yes. that take place. Yes. So God is telling Jeremiah that his nephew is coming 
and uh, and he's going to ask him to buy his field because it's his now it's come round to him that he has to buy the field. Um, for the right of redemption is thine to buy. For the right of redemption is thine to buy. So me and my uncle's son came to me, as God had said, um, to in the court of the prison according to the word of the Lord, and said unto me, "Buy my field." You know, when you look at this, you 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 see the way that God is working. God's hand is in what is going on because there is a there there is an order that is set. Amen. Where you find that the, the nephew can come in mm. and negotiate, still as usual, business as usual, and it's it's in the plan of God as well because mm. there is a prophecy mm. and there is an establishment and there's a covenant set in what God is saying. Mm. And Jeremiah is 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 a bit baffled by this situation because in Anath Anathoth, where Judah is. There is a siege going on. Mm. There's fierce war going on. You know, they're burning down the places there. So why would Jeremiah want to buy or redeem a piece of land when there is, uh, there's turmoil going on there? Everybody has been, we've been taken out. Amen. But he has to put a stake in, in the plot in Anathal. Mm. Uh, so we hear from the the, 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 the prophecy, the, the revealing, then the prophecy being fulfilled, Jeremiah's uh, nephew came and said, Hamil's, my uncle's son, came to me in the court of the prison, according to the word of the Lord, and said unto me, buy my field, I pray thee, that is in Anathoth, which is the country of Benjamin, for the right of inheritance is thine. And the redemption is thine, buy it for thyself. Mm. Then I knew that it then I knew that it was the Lord. It had to be God. Because yeah. why would you buy. God would reveal to you that my nephew's coming yeah. to buy a piece of land mm. in a place that is is completely dust, it's burnt, it's 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 besieged, it's trampled on, it's got all the enemy in there. All sorts of atrocities have been committed and yes. he has to stay where he, he, he's the redemption. He has to put his redemption in. It says here, for the right of inheritance is thine and the redemption is thine. So in the midst of turmoil, Brother Patrick, there is salvation. In the midst of turmoil, brethren, God, there is salvation. In the midst of this yeah. crooked and God, crooked world, God, in the midst God. of our mind that sometimes we are in turmoil, in the midst of pain and suffering and sorrow, we have a, a stake within us. Yes. We have an anchor yes. that keeps the soul, the redemption plan that is set within us mm. that we won't always be in this place. Mm. Praise God. There is a land mm. beyond, beyond, praise God, yeah. that God has prepared for us. Yes. He yes. said that he has prepared a place for us and yes. those who are willing to go, mm. praise God, they have to establish their most holy faith. Yes. Yes. So, Yes, Jeremiah, which is in the cut, he, he says, I pray thee that this is in Anathoth, which is the country of Benjamin, for the right of inheritance. This is his nephew speaking to Jeremiah, and the redemption is thine. <laughs> Buy it for thyself. Mm. All of us have to hold right. fast to the profession of our there faith. Is hold fast to the profession of our faith. Christ yeah. will come, <laughs> and we will be delivered. Somebody said, This robe of flesh will drop. drop. Rise to seize the everlasting prize and shout while passing through the air. Farewell, farewell, farewell sweet our prayer. You know, Christ, when he ministered, he said, I have a place prepared for you. <laughs> that where I am, there you may be also. He said, In my house is many mansions. And if it weren't so, I would never have told you. Praise God. He said, Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Praise God, praise his name. So inheritance is thine and the redemption is thine. Buy it for thyself. <coughs> then I knew that this was 
the word of the Lord. Mm. And at the time when the overshadowing of the Spirit of God came upon him and his eyes were open to, um, to discern that something was happening in the spirit realm where God was concerned because mm. he couldn't equate why his nephew would want him to buy it and, and, and redeem and sell his inheritance in the, in the midst of this turmoil. Mm. Um, and he said, and I bought the field. So he, 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 saw, he thought, he knew that God had a hand in it, so he said, so, and I bought the field of Hanamiel, my yes, uncle's sir. son, and was in Ananon, uh, that was in Ananon, and weighed him the money, even gave him money, even 70 shekels of silver. Yes, sir. And I subscribed, he signed the evidence, mm. and sealed it, and took contract. witnesses. Yeah, even had witnesses, he made a contract, had the witnesses, praise God. And weighed him the money in the balance, mm. made sure he gave him the right amount of money. Mm. He just continued in the transaction that he knew that he needed to continue in. Mm. We have to continue. Yes, sir. So I took the evidence of the purchase, both that which was sealed according to the law and custom, and that which was opened, and I gave the evidence of the purchase onto Baruch, the son of Nero, the son of Messiah, Messiah in the sight of Hemiel, my uncle's son. And in the presence of the witnesses that subscribed the book of the purchase before all the Jews that sat in the court of the prison. Mm. Now, this transaction that was made is so that if any um, uh, uh, discrepancy came up, it, there's evidence. There is evidence that this piece of land is mine, it belongs to me because there is a going back. Mm. Remember the, 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 the lesson is. Salvation and divine favor. God has promised us eternal life. Praise God. He's promised us eternal life. And in the promising of eternal life, He will establish it. But we have to go through the going through first. Why? Because all of us individually are being sealed to see if we have the faith or not. To see if we've made that agreement and we sign this and be sealed. By the divine spirit of God, yes, sir. God knows those that are His. Yes. Praise yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Go Praise back. God. And the Jews that sat in the court of the prison, yes. praise God. And it says, uh, and in the presence of the witnesses that subscribed the book of the uh, purchase before all the Jews that sat in the court of the prison, and I charged Pharaoh to perform them saying. Thus, again, Jeremiah speaking, thus said the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. the God of Israel, take these evidences, this evidence mm -hmm. of the purchase, both which is sealed, and this evidence which is open, and put there. Take this evidence, this evidence of the purchase, both which is sealed, and this evidence which is open, and put them in an uh, earthen vessel uh, that they may continue many days. Praise God. Praise God. Build. Praise his name. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Well, God, give Praise me God. Sorry, Thank sorry, you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sorry, Sister Pam. I have a Jesus. Amen. It's been on my heart since Saturday. I spoke to Patrick. Thank you, Jesus. And, uh, and, uh, it's for his talk with Patrick, and Patrick and his family are in the position that they're in now. Mm -hmm. When you got the place, amen, where you live, you testify that God gave it to you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. God gave it to you. Yeah. And although it's been marred, Amen. It is still yours. Mm. Amen. Amen. If you leave it, mm. praise God, you are throwing back what God has done, just throwing away what God has given to you. Mm. God is capable. There's a reason why God gave the plan, the land, the house, or whatever. Mm. And He gave it to you because He wanted you there. He spent 17 years there. And the thing happened, what happened to you? Now, what that scripture is saying to us, you have to hold it because if you leave it, it's going to be worse. 
Israel, the land was given to them, Israel, and they committed the atrocities, murders, everything, everything happened to what God has given to them. But God said, after 70 years, after a period of time, you're going to go back to what he's given to you. That's the prophecy there. Mm -hmm. After 70 years, God didn't give them a new land. No, they, had to go back. they had to go back to mm -hmm. the same place mm -hmm. where the atrocities were committed. Irrespective mm -hmm. of, of what happened there, the land, the land, is, the land is there. Oh, it says, I have placed you there. Mm -hmm. I placed you there for a reason. Thus said the Lord. That's a scripture. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's a scripture here. 14 of 32, chapter 32, <coughs> Jeremiah 32. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, take these evidences, yes. this evidence of the purchase, both which is sealed, yes. and this evidence which is open, you and put them in an earthen vessel, and then that they may continue many days. But thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Amen. houses and fields and vineyards shall be possessed again in this land. There it is. Praise God. There it is. Praise there it God. is. Now when I had delivered the evidence of the purchase unto the <coughs> son of Nero, I prayed unto the Lord, saying, at the time, Jeremiah, was feeling quite He's in prison, troubled <laughs> because he didn't understand at the time. He felt troubled because he didn't understand Lesson. the clearness of what was happening mm. because to him, it didn't seem safe or right for him to be buying a land that was, was broken down mm. or going back to a place that was completely de um, desolate. And he prayed. And Patrick, I, I advise and, and admonish you yeah, that you go into prayer and let the Spirit of God speak to you regarding whatever situation it is and allow him with yourself and your, 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 your family to, to, to allow him to lead you, to allow him to, to, to set you. Praise God. At, 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 at present, it's, nice. it's, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Mm. It's not making sense. And here's the prayer of, of uh, Jeremiah, who had been promised uh, prophesied for about 20, nice. 29 years. And then this situation took place that he himself, as he was prophesying, must have thought, okay, we're gonna be done with this place and we're moving to another place. Mm. And then all of a sudden, this is happening. So his prayer is this. Now, when I delivered the evidence of the purchase of Tavera, the son of Nero, I prayed unto the Lord, saying, Our Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by the great power, by thy great power, and stretched out thy arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Thou showest loving kindness unto thousands and recompenses the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. Yeah. The great, the mighty God, the Lord of hosts is his name. Great in counsel and mighty in work, for thine eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men, still pray, to give everyone according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings, which has set signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, even unto this day, and Israel and among other men, and has made thee a name as at this day, and has brought forth thy people Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs and with wonders and with a strong hand and with a stretched out arm and with great terror, and has given them this land which thou didst swear to their fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey. And they came in, he's now explained to God as he prayed, and possessed it. But they obeyed not thy voice, neither walked in thy law. They mm. have done nothing of all that thou had commandest them to do. Therefore thou hast caused all this evil to come oh, upon God. them. Behold, 
the mounts, they are come unto the city to take it. And the city is given into the hand of the Chaldeans that fight against it because the sword yes, is still praying. And the fam and the and of the because of the sword and the famine and of the pestilence, and what thou hast spoken is come to pass, and behold, yes. thou seest it. And thou hast said unto me, O Lord God, buy thee for money and take witnesses, for the city is given into the hand of the Chaldeans. And God answers and says, Then like came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Behold. I am the Lord. Yes. The God of all flesh. Yes. Is there anything too hard for me? Hey. Praise God. Say Behold, Lord, be that I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Mm. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give the city into the hand of the Chaldeans, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall take it. And the Chaldeans that fight against the city shall come and set fire on the city and burn it. So all the prophecies that Jeremiah prophesied is still coming to be fulfilled. Yes. But he reassured him. And he asked him the question, is there anything too hard for God? Is there anything too hard for God? There is a deliverance in the midst of it. Salvation and divine promise. I promised from beforehand when I spoke to your father Abraham, that, that there is a land that I want to show you. Yeah. This is the land. And it's still established, as we say, it's still established that this land is the land that is for if it which belongs to you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So we find that because of the concern that Jeremiah had. Can my minister please? Can I minister please? Because it's really hard to minister. We find that the land that that is has been besieged, that God had, had established to be besieged, is still Amen. The promise yes. Yes. that God has promised to Israel is an everlasting promise. It still stands now. Amen. It still stands now. The promise still stands that Jerusalem will lift up her voice and see. Praise God. So he asked Jeremiah, Am I, is there anything too hard for me? And there is nothing too hard for God. There is nothing impossible for God. There are situations that we've been in that we never thought that we'd come out of it. We never thought that we'd have a clear mind afterwards. We never thought that there'd be healing. We never thought that we'd get away. But there is nothing too hard for God because God promised, no, I will be with you always. Praise God, even to the end. Praise God. Praise his name. So whatever God has established, he will continue to do, praise yes. God, and the land that he promised to Israel is still the covenant that stands. Yes. But he purged the land. He's purging the land. Yes. Praise God. He allowed the land to be purged. Praise God. The fire that sometimes we go through is the purging. Yes. Praise God. It's the cleansing. Yes. Praise God. It's the purifying of ourselves yes. that we come away from ourselves and we stand in God clean and clear yes. so we can enter the land. Yes. Praise yes. God. If we're not clean, if we're not abiding by God's will, we will yes. not be able yes. to enter that land promise. Yes. Praise God. Yes. The land that yes. salvage us. Yes. The divine favor and promise mm. that God has established it can be ours if we just keep our hands clean Amen. and our heart pure Amen. and we abide Amen. under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise His name. Praise Him. At this point, we're going to go into Psalms. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 91. And it says, Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler. Verse 3. 
and from the noise and pestilence. But the first verse is, he that dwelleth. He that dwelleth. You stay in the place that God put the secret place. Praise God of the Most High. Shalabaya. Praise God. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Israel is under the shadow of the Almighty. Praise God. And if they abide by his instruction in his law, praise God. They are able to serve the Lord. As Jeremiah concluded, I will serve the Lord. He is my refuge. And my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely, Surely praise God, he concluded when he saw that there was something going on, but it was in the hand of God. Mm. With the place that was besieged, with the trouble that had been um, evolved out of it, the besieging of the place, he, he said, Jeremiah, when he concluded, he said, surely he shall deliver thee. He knew that it was God. The, the, the verse in, in Jeremiah 32, praise God, he said, praise God, praise his name. Thank you, Jesus. Jeremiah 32. When he was saying the prayer, he ended the prayer. Before he ended the prayer, it's, it talks about the redemption. Then he knew, this is in verse 32, Jeremiah 32 and verse 8. At the end, it's close. He said, Then I knew that this was the word of the Lord. Praise God. Praise his name. Praise the Lord. He said, Then I knew that this was the word of the Lord. Because after, and then after he prayed, and God explained himself to a degree as to what would still take place, he still established salvation and divine promise. Mm -hmm. Praise God. We're living now and here this afternoon in 2022 for the promise. And we are, as it were, spiritual Israel. And we have to stay clean and clear and be obedient in the land that God has promised us. Praise mm -hmm. God. That we can make it in because we've been bought by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. And we have this, this treasure Amen. in earthen Amen. vessels that the excellency may be of God and not of ourselves. Praise God. Let's stand firm in his word that the salvation, we're still being salvaged, we're still being taken through different situations to come out as the characteristics and the, the son of God, praise God, having the, 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 the spirit of Christ in us, the behavior, the personality of Christ with us. So when he shall come, he won't see Patrick, he will see Christ. Praise God. When you stand before God, praise God, he will say, this is my beloved son in whom I will be. Salvation and divine favor promised is the topic of this lesson is to study that if we go home and delve into Jeremiah and the prophecies that have been taking place and put the pieces together, we as spiritual Israel will understand what the promise is spiritually, praise God, praise his name, and we are, we are traveling to. Time is closing up. It's now Sunday already, praise God, mm. and Christ is still going to put his in his appearance. And all the troubles and the suffering that we're going through praise god it's not for no reason if we endure to the end we will be saved praise god may god bless you bless and you cause too. his face to shine on you bless you too and give you all peace god bless, bless you, you too praise god. Bless you too. Bless you too. Bless you. Oh, bless you. Yeah, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. And family clears. And he that happened here to hear it to hear what the Spirit said mm. unto the church. Uh, retrospectively, we are reading the history of the Jews in Israel. But the Bible declares that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We're going to close our 
lesson to the afternoon. And um, before we do that, I'm just going to ask uh, Brother Sister Catherine to read a word of prayer for once again of the Fancy family and for the church in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Precious loving God, and our eternal Father, we give you praise, we give you thanks, we give you honor, we give you glory, O oh God, as we stand before you in the name of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, Lord. We know that nothing, O oh God, is hid from you. We are as an open book before you, O oh God. You know us, our inward thoughts, you know, mm. Lord, our inward pains, oh God, even those things that we do not say, Lord, you, you know all about it. You know our groanings, glory to God. You know our thoughts are far off. We come to you, oh God, because thou art our God. You're touched even with the feeling of our infirmity. Mm. We come here, oh God, even this afternoon, Lord, not because it's a ritual, oh God, and this is what we do, and we have nothing else to do, but Lord, we have been made alive by your word, bless the Lord. The scripture says, thy word is a lamp, glory to God. Oh, bless the Lord, unto my feet, praise God. Your word, oh God, is a lamp. Oh God, unto our pathway. We have found deliverance, oh God, in your word. And that's the reason why we're here this afternoon to hear your word, to rejoice in you, and to continue even in this pathway. Lord, you see the various ones that are before you, not just here, Lord, but your people that are everywhere, oh God. The Bible says some of us are in heaviness, Amen. bless the Lord, because of manifold temptations, bless the Lord. Lord, and some of the temptations, Lord, that those of us that are going through, they're different, Lord, but some are passing, oh God, through the valley of Baker, oh God. Lord, there is drought, there is dryness, oh God. There is temptation, dear God, on every side, bless the Lord. Amen. But Lord, yet still we don't give up our, our confidence, no. bless the Lord, in you. Bless the Lord. You said to us that we should not cast away, bless the Lord, confidence. our confidence. Oh, hallelujah. Because it has great recompense of reward. Lord, and we can see that even through the scripture that was, was brought, brought forth today, oh God, and we thank you for it. Lord. Amen. And Amen. sometimes, Lord, we think that, Lord, we, well, what, what is there? What are you saying through your word? But, Lord, we know your word is very much alive. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Lord, and although there was captivity, and there is captivity, yeah. oh God. You gave your servant Jeremiah, Amen. bless the Lord, home. Amen. Because, Lord, he would eventually be taken out of that prison, oh God. And he himself, bless the Lord, would be taken even to Babylon. Bless the Lord, where, oh God, but you, because you told him, oh God, to buy the land. You know, in his own understanding, maybe he would have said, well, what's the use? Mm. Praise be to God. Yeah, we thank you for your word, Lord God, mm. that you knew you were given in consolation, Lord, that he would return Amen. back to the place. Mm. And that bit of land that he purchased from God, presented to him because he bought it lawfully, yes, praise sir. God, in Amen. the presence of witnesses, bless the Lord, yes. writing was made. Yes. Oh God, and put in that earthen vessel. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Praise God. That Lord, you can even open your word unto us. Bless the Lord. 
And Lord, it means so much. Amen. Praise God. It means so much. Amen. Praise be to God. And the many times in your scripture, the question was asked, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Lord, we lift up the Francis family Amen. right now. And Lord, when we look, oh God, we, we, we hear the question, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Bless the Lord. And we know what the answer is. There is nothing. Bless the Lord. Neither height, oh God, nor depth, nor principality, nor power, glory to God that is able to separate us from your love. Glory to God. We lift them up before you. At this time, they might not even be able to pray as they used to. Glory to God. But then that's what we're here for. Oh, we lift them up before you. Glory to God. We pray that you lift up their heads. Glory to God. That hands that hang down. Glory to God. We pray that you would strengthen the feet Please. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. When they can't pray, Lord, we can pray for them. Bless the Lord. We can worship. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We can praise on their behalf. Bless yes, the Lord. Glory to God. Because there is hope. Bless the Lord. There is hope. Bless the Lord. Lord, when, Je when Jeremiah, when it was revealed to Jeremiah, oh, he probably thought that it was himself that was thinking these things. Mm -hmm. When then, when Hananiel came, oh God, and Bless said the same thing, Bless he it. said, then I knew. No. Hallelujah. I it was of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Strengthen the Francine family yes. Yes. in the name of Jesus. Glory yes. to God. Hallelujah. Lord, the many ponderings, the many questions, the many this, yes. the many that. Oh, yes, it, 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 help them to ponder it in their heart because yes. when it, when you deliver them, yes, sir, Lord, it's and to you will. Glory to God. Go to then we say, then we understand, yes, bless sir. the Lord, that, it was, that it was of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Glory to God that was telling us, oh God, to hold on because it will not be like this all the time. Bless the Lord. Amen. They will return. Glory to God. They will. They will. It seemed impossible to Jeremiah. Amen. They will return. Rejoicing. Bringing in the sheep. Though they be low and going through heaviness, we, we, we will bear them up. Glory to God. Not of ourselves, oh God. But we will continue, oh God, to strengthen them through your word. Strengthen them now, we pray. Amen. Glory to God Amen. and the rest of your people that are going through. Amen. Bless the Lord. Help them to go through. Remember the question that somebody said, is there anything Amen. too hard for the Lord? With us, Lord, all things are not always possible. Oh, God, but with you, bless the Lord, there is nothing too hard for you. Glory to God. Nothing, bless the Lord. And so we commit them and us even into your hands. We thank you for your word. Glory to God. And we will continue, oh God, in your love. Because we have the confidence to know, mm. bless the Lord. Somebody said, no matter what may come our way, bless the Lord, our life is in your hands. <laughs> Into your hands we commend our spirit right now. Bless us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, bless us, Catherine. Thank you for that wonderful prayer. Right to the point and on point. Praise God. There's a portion, there's a there's a song. I know we used to sing it quite a lot back in the day and in recent times. And the song is Mouse of the Tempest. It's raging. It's raging. And Pat the Billers. Billers. Billers are tossing high. Mm. Strife, 
and your house is hit. And I believe everybody's house in here is hit. Some is hit worse than some, but nonetheless, the billows have been tossed in hand. And all we can pray and declare and ask God, and now following what Jesus says, peace, be still. be still. I hope and trust that you have been blessed by the message. Praise God that's been delivered to us. Mm. The Bible said through the chief apostle to the Gentiles, he said these things were written for our learning. For our learning. They're not just written as a history book. If I want to sit and talk about history, I can go back to school and talk about history. Mm. Well, this is not just a history book. Amen. It is something that testifies that God is and he is the same yesterday. Whatever era you might want to go through, God delivered Israel, he will deliver the Gentile believer. Amen. 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 As God delivers the Israel, Bible says, as I, what I say to one, I say to all. If you go through that chap, those chapters again, and you will see God testifying <laughs> of his heart. God testifying of his heart. Amen. And his feelings and his desire. Amen. Read the scripture. So when you read the Sunday school lesson, don't just read what is written in the book, in the commentary. Sometimes you have to go back to get a contextual view of what really has taken place and how God is really feeling. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. May the Lord bless you. And we give God thanks for you being here tonight, today. The announcements are as follows. And I ask that we really pray because as I said earlier there's some houses are being affected in a, in a very hard way mm. and we just wanted we ask you as a ministry we ask you to put every home to the Lord mm. amen every home to the Lord every family to the Lord because it's not just, let me say this, it's not just the Francines. I'm not belittling what's happening to them, but everybody is feeling it. Somewhere, everybody's feeling it. And, and, and so it is so close. It is close. It is very, very close. Praise God. It's very, very close, brethren. And we implore you, we implore you that you pray one for the other. Jesus said, men ought to pray and not faint, lest we fall into temptation. The temptation is to get so emotional that we forget to worship. You notice what happened to Job. Sorry to go on a bit. What happened to Job? Job received three or four messages. Yes. One day. In one day. Four disasters yes. in one day. The priest, every message was a devastation to his house. Destructive to the devil had to want to destroy him. Not just a little, but take away everything. And God said, don't touch his soul. Amen. And what did Job do? The Bible is a verse in Job that we seem to overlook all the time. Mm. And this verse is this. The Bible says that when Job heard the message, he took off his mantle mm. and his mitre, yeah. signifying he's a priest. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And he put them on the floor and he bowed himself. He didn't cry. He worshiped. 
What's happening in the church today is that the devil is trying to stop each and every one of you from worshiping. Taking away your worship. Oh, praise God. Bless God. Sorry. <laughs> Next week's announcement. Next week, Sunday, brethren, is everybody's, is an all church fasting. Everybody, we ask that you, if you're sick, if you've got diabetes like yourself or whatever, so whatever sickness you're having, if it's even for an hour, fast. Praise God. Lily Reed wasn't a saved country. Mm -hmm. Praise yes. God. And the Bible says even the dog went into fasting. Hey. So we're asking next week, Sunday, you prepare yourself for fasting. Fasting service next week, Sunday. The topic for our lesson next week, Sunday, is Ezekiel inauguration, inaugural, inaugural vision and call. That's another brother. Because during the, after the, the, the 70 years captivity, he was taken with the leaders as a young priest into Babylon. That's another history again. So we have to see what's going on here. There is a plan. God has a plan. The scripture reading for next week Sunday, and I would ask that you take time out and read it during the week. Ezekiel chapter one, reading from verse one to 28. Praise God. Ezekiel chapter 1, read your verse 1 to 28. So we have the last for the offering. Praise God. We're going to sing a song. Amen. I'm going to ask uh, the Brother Claude, could you collect the offering for us, please? Sure. <laughs> Praise God. So. I'm going on.
You have given us strength to place, uh, put our hands in our pockets and place our offering in the offering plate. We pray, O oh God, that you may bless it, sanctify it, and let it be used for the glory of your, of your church service and the administration of your work here on earth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the divine Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Thank you. There, there is uh, next week's birthday um, celebrations. Uh, first, um, I think it's tomorrow. Happy birthday to Sister Navlet. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Sister Navlet, happy birthday to Brother Paul. Yeah. 
Sorry, oh, they've gone, they just went. Oh, that's good. 